Okay, hello and welcome back, Squirrel Nation. Today we are diving in. The new season has begun. I played one game. I was ranked. Uh, I was put into Bishop 9. Um, so, yeah, we're one game into Bishop 9. So, yeah. Anyways, let's see how it goes. I think the high rank right now is like Rook 2 or something like that. So, I mean, everybody everybody got shifted back. I think the highest anybody could be was Rook 1 when the, the um, reset happened. So anyways, we are going to dive in just like normal. Okay, we see tons of warriors are grabbed. Uh, six out of seven teams grabs warrior. Uh, Tusker and God of War are contested. So this is when I would probably want to go a different way. And actually on that note, I'm going to lock that screen because there are good goblins and I will shift in that direction. And let's see. Yep. Lots of God of Wars being grabbed. That makes sense because Divinity is quite strong. Do, 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 do. Okay, so Hunter. We have a Knight grab. So we're probably going to have a Warrior. We're probably going to have a Hunter team. Um, I think that looks like basically it. Um, so something with Druids might be nice. The Hunters will contest for Druids though. Uh, Lone Druid. So I'm trying to think of what's going to be least contested. Also keep in mind when things are being contested, it's not only... Um, it's not only one build that can test things, right? There, There's lots of builds that can use different pieces, so um, contesting is not as straightforward as it may seem. Grab Assassins, since I have two already, and we could kind of shift our way in that direction. Uh, Abyssal Guard's really good too, but... Um, yeah... People, yeah, Sky, okay. Hmm... I kind of want that taboo witcher too but now we'll, we'll we'll stay with this um a goblin goblin tank if i can get that to two star the skybreaker then i could do some assassins behind it is probably looking pretty good because i only see one person picking up and wow okay so actually we get lucky and we hit a god of war so that changes our plans quite a bit so we put that i'm going to grab my swordsman now i wish i would have grabbed my abyssal but how could i have possibly known that i couldn't is the answer so anyways Gonna go for a little formation like so. Um, and wow, so much mana regen. Um, put one on him. Uh, let's get block onto my, and actually I might as well just put one onto all of them for right now. And this is looking like we could definitely win streak just because we got so many damn mana crystals. Um, okay, so that's a pair. She's not usable, so I'm gonna grab the unicorns. Um, not usable because I have my divinity. So uh, Phantom Queen is not the ticket. <clears throat> so here's the interesting thing is I'm heavily contested for Warriors and God of War, but I was the fortunate soul who I wasn't even really targeting God of War, but I got, I got him to two star and got him first. Um, in this case, I'll keep locking these down. I'm keep grabbing pairs and then we will put stuff onto the board. Um, I'm trying to think now maybe another god of war or let's let's look at the good old deeps probably another god of war is honestly better dps than the um skybreaker so i'm gonna go like that and good 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 pairs so we have one two three four and five pair on the board so hopefully we pair up um, okay, people are getting pairs that this person with the evil knight probably beats me. Um, so right now I would say one person for sure beats me. If I'm trying to win streak, I need to really manage that because if I spend money to level and I spend money to like reroll to get pairs and stuff like that, and then I lose, then I'm in a really bad spot because then my economy hurts. So, um, I need to be careful. Wow. Okay. Nice. Um, yeah. So that gives me another warrior. Um, and quality, quality, quality. Okay, I'm not gonna go towards hunters. Doesn't really fit into this, even though it's a pair. And we are gonna level and I'm going to throw out the arg. Why did he not go on the boat? Oh, no, we didn't have enough money after that. So we'll put out the ripper. And there we go, and Ripper, I can actually put Mana Crystal on. He has a really low cooldown, so that would be good. And I'll, I'll adjust my formation. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. I think otherwise we're okay. I'm going to sit at this. 
Um, the unicorn would just be nice if we hit a druid just to make make some income. And then also, oh, this is going to be close. Oh, no, no. Uh, yeah, this was a person to beat us. Um, and unfortunately, I did spend. So that is, but that was my own fault, just the formation. Oof, very nice. Okay, I'm definitely going towards uh, divinity now. So in this case, let's take out the other divinity. Oh, wrong. Er, there we go. And yeah, this should be good. Engagements. I could even flatten out more than this, to be honest. But nah, we're we're okay with this in the corner. Um, I'm definitely gonna go divinity. So I'm looking for other warlocks. I want to get a desperate doctor, and I would like to get like a venom worm or some other warlock. Because honestly, if I can get uh, divinity warlocks early, that can definitely win streak quite easily so um that is definitely gonna look like my goal this game just because of what the game is giving us <clears throat> and we should eke this out yeah even with that yep okay so that's good how are we doing he's third place we're beating eh, actually he might beat us from this point of view yep so lucky him so we lost the once but we are top in health so rock paper scissors that means that nobody is win streaking so now let's check if anybody's lose streaking yes so we have one person some some in-betweeners and one person really lose streaking and he's going for warriors maybe he'll p pivot into assassins so that is something to just keep an eye on um i'm not win streaking so i'm not going to spend gold here i could grab the shadow devil but the problem is i need a second demon to use with him um so that kind of becomes a thing but i might still grab him i can get rid of this i'm not going to really use that skybreaker i can use but mm, yeah i'm going to sell him also because i want to get the mana crystal and put it on to my uh soul reaper actually so i'm going to do that and my other mana crystals on swordsman so it works perfectly on Swordsman because I want to get that onto a Storm Shaman who is also Cave Clan. So I would have to sell the Swordsman at that point, and then it's perfect because I have the Mana Crystal right there. <clears throat> and okay, cool. So that was, ended up being good with this. We do need a second Demon. Um, if we're going to do that, that's for a pair. So there we go. Um, and I guess another pair pair on the boards i can't get up my econ nope i can't so that's unfortunate but anyways we have one two three four five different pairs again so hopefully we hit um yeah people are spending to go up i'm not because we're not winning like i said so that is that decision and let's look at contesting so a glacier knight would contest us for soul reaper so there is for sure one but he already has a Dragonite, so actually the fourth person might go to Dragonites. Um, that looks like about it. Some of these divinities. Now, the other divinities don't look like they're heading that way. So, like, the first place, the, the Marksman teams might want a uh, soul, uh, soul Reaper. Oh, there we go, Poison Worm. So that is perfect. Now I need a Desperate Doctor. Um, the only thing optional right now is this unicorn <clears throat> um do i want to lose any of that i think maybe because i'm going to use a warrior front line so if i'm going to use a warrior front line then i can um i can get rid of the reaper the um rippers do, 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 do. because i don't need that many front lines and if i hit a uh, god of war i'm going to switch him in also so i'll just have two two stars so yeah, the Ripper we can get rid of and then have some <clears throat> extra money freed up. And this Mana Crystal, we can also go on the Worm. I really want to save at least one Mana Crystal if I get a Medusa or a Storm Shaman. But honestly, I kind of want to save two Mana Crystals. So I know I have one Mana Crystal on my... Um, ooh, nice, okay. And a Thunder Spirit, that's good. Do I want to give up my Warriors? I don't think so not yet at least um and i could actually get rid of the shadow devil because once again if i use a demon it it requires me to use another demon and if i sell him i can get above 20 gold 
so I think it is goodbye to him since I got Thunder Spirit. I want some sort of like AoE damage, um, like big AoE damage, so um, the Shadow Devil could have filled that gap, but if I get a Thunder Spirit then we can go with that instead. And yeah, I'm still thinking the Mana Crystal, because I could put it on my Poison Worm, which is going to help me mid game, but late game I'm going to want that Mana Crystal back and I won't want to sell my Poison Worm, that becomes a hard spot. Um, and there we go. Okay, so Desperate Doctor. So there, so that lets us get in the Warlock combo. Um, do I care? I'm lose streaking now. I'm just gonna actually, we'll we'll keep. Mm, the Warlock might actually win. To be honest, eh, we'll we'll do this. There we go. And Mana Crystal I'll still sit on. I will put that onto my Soul Reaper. Um, boop, 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 boop. so Poison Worm is up. There we go. Um, I mean, Poison Worm, it's really good on, because if you see, Poison Worm only gets about, what is it, like, 15? So if I put uh, 15 mana per hit, so if I give that, then it would be up to, like, 30. So four basic attacks, and he will put out a Worm. So in an extended fight, the Worm can become... Quite, quite, a, quite a few of the Worms can get out there. Um, but late game, my Medusa Idge... If I can get two mana crystals on a Medusa, then she will actually ult um, after just three auto attacks, which uh, becomes insane. So, anyways, let's go like this. I need source, and then I can get my mage buff in also. I think we do mm, something like this. Actually, see, the problem is I have multiple things with three attack, uh, so that, that kind of becomes the managing it. Actually, you know what? Let's do something like this. So he'll be our mage catcher. And let's just see how it goes. I may be being a little greedy, but um, I'm really like for me, I feel like my main improvement comes from tempo. So I'm really trying to do different tempo styles and kind of be consistent in some of my decisions just to see how they go. And right now I'm at that time where I'm trying to, when I have high health, be greedy. And if I have low health, I'll be more aggressive. So, like, right now I'm in the middle of the pack. Um, yeah, see, if we had the Doom earlier, the Shadow would have been better. But now we don't have room for him. So, yeah, no. And I will grab that. It's a placeholder. And I am I am just going to put it on my Poison Worm. Because now my Poison Worm is two stars. So I, I think that's a little bit more acceptable now. Um, engagement pattern, I think. Actually, let's maybe do the Pyramid. <clears throat> And Abyssal, I think I can get rid of him. I'm not going to use him. And it's hitting the point where I actually need extra space because I do want to put the, if I get a source, I can put in the dragon and then I have three mage and three warlock. And if we have that by like werewolves or by the, um, yeah, by the, 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 the wolves, right? So round 15, I mean, that's really, really strong. Okay. And yeah, see how much mana the crawler is getting. So actually, if I got a Feather Dress, then the Poison Worm can get out a ward every two basic attacks, which would be sick. Like, that would become a, a lot of wards. Nice. <clears throat> so that's the top person. Okay, so grab that. I definitely want to get him to three stars. Now do I put him in? Yes, because, as we said, the... Um, Swordsman's not in our long-term plan, so if that gives us another tank right now, that's good. And oh yeah, this is Wolves, so let's do something like this. Pew, pew, pew. Um, yeah, I think like this. Because the Divinities will jump out to the left and right, and then the Wolves should jump back, and then the Divinities cut back. Yep, perfect. Perfection. So... Yeah, Mana Crystal, I sit on it. Um, source. We're looking for the Source. And the Source at level 7. Well, 7, but we'd have to take out one of our God of War. So 8, and I could put him in easy. Okay, so another Mana Crystal, so that's really nice. Um, Wow, if we got some rings. Uh, rings, uh, the, uh, sorry, what are they called? Let me use the techno these things. Uh, Ring of Life. If we got those, we could get, uh, we could actually get the Refresher this uh, orb of refresh and that would be sick because then we can double alt cast and if i get that on something like my storm shaman that's just insane insane amount of damage 
<clears throat> I've never tried it on Poison Worm. That might be interesting just for sheer mass spawns. But anyways, we're going to focus on leveling now. Boop, 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 boop. I think this is good. Yeah. And... Hmm. In this comp, I mean, I'll just give it to my fastest attack speed. Um, these will go... I put it on one of them. There we go. And... Yeah, or we're, we're just going to put this stuff on my fast attack speed for the um, the attack damage and also for the life stealing. The rod I'm saving for my um, epics, like Storm Shaman, because he has a slow attack speed so I can help him auto attack quicker. And if he auto attacks quicker, he ults quicker and that makes me happy. Yep, boom, lots of wards. So yeah, the Mana Crystal is definitely doing nice on the Poison Worm. <clears throat> Another one, nice. Good, 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 good. Poison Worm, the wards don't take magic damage from alts. See, they have 100% magic res, so um, that is something that will be very good against like the mage type teams. Okay, so this lets me get Baby Dragon. So now I need the source. Um, problem is it's three range, attack range. So, and it's not all that tanky. I think I go like this. It actually probably takes less aggro in this type of formation. <clears throat> and... Okay, so this... See, this is a greedy... Be greedy or... Or be strong type of move. So I'm on a win streak. If I win this one again, I think I'll reroll instead of going to 8 just because I do have a bunch of 1 stars. And I don't even have anything on my bench to put in at level 8. So that it will be the thing, but we do lose. So I'm I'm being greedy, but like I said, I'm trying to be greedy when I have high health and then uh, more aggressive when I have low health. I don't know if that's going to be the right thing, but um, at the beginning of the season, I'm definitely going to try out a lot of new stuff just, just to try to find, you know, something new. The thing is, if you always do the thing, if you always do things the way you've always done them, you can only expect to have the same results that you've always had. And I don't know about all of you, but I definitely would like to improve, so that is why I'm doing that. Once again, I'm holding the Mana Crystals because I want to get them on my Medusa. If I get two Mana Crystals on a Medusa, she'll, uh, she will ultimate after two auto attacks, which will be amazing. <clears throat> because I'll just flat out CC the enemy team before they ever have a chance to do anything. And then, yeah, and then we just burst them down with our AoE and we're good to go. So... Yep, this is good. Also, if we're rushing to 8, right, we're going to have a better opportunity to get all the epics, like our Soul Reaper and stuff like that. So, that's another thing. And... Do, 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 do. Yep, round 21, people are probably going to 8. So, that's that's the other thing to consider. Um, And I could actually just hit here, but see, I have nothing to put in. Hmm... <coughs> Nah, I'm going to save the gold, because I can use it to re-roll. Um, yeah, I can use it to re-roll once we we hit level 8. So I'm just going to save that gold. And we're still fine on health, and we're getting... We will be at a pretty scary comp. Like, Divinity Mage Warlock is something that I have faith against almost any comp, so that's why if I, if I see that I can build it to fruition, like to the full build, then... I, I have a lot of con confidence in getting a W in the game, so. There we go, we're doing fine. We beat the top, we crushed the top person. He's now not the top person, but he lost by six units to us, so. Okay, that's a level eight unit I could put in. So in this case, we will, because I finally have something. Oh no, because, oh, because I'm using the Venomancer. Oof, I don't normally use the, um, and I don't have a human yet, so I can use that. Anyways, re-roll Berserker. No, I don't want any of that. Oh, Medusa. There we go. And... Wait, what? No. Oh, it didn't come out. Hurt. Get my mana crystal on. Hurt. Yeah. Okay. So, her mana regen seat, 30, 60. Oh, it's four. Oh, I need a headdress. Yeah, yeah, you need 250 on her to get the three auto attacks. But still, four auto attacks, still good. So, four auto attacks. Her attack speed is 1.2, which means 4.8 seconds into the match, my Medusa will ultimate. So, that is awesome. Now, let's say I put the attack speed item on her, right? That gives her 10% increase. So, she would be down to 1.1 second auto attack, which means she would ult 
um, she would alt instead of 4.8 seconds, she would alt at 4.4 seconds. So that that's another thing. I want that. Mm, do, do, do. Let's see. Do I want to take out a divinity to have that? Honestly, I think I probably do. Which one do I have shield on? Yeah, be, be careful about which one I take out. And in this case, I think we'll flatten. Um, this should be what? Onto my yeah, Thunder Spirit. Okay, we'll just put it there. So, the mage is really good because the 35%, uh, negative 35 magic res means my team's doing 35% more damage with magic. So, um, that is something that's really nice. I want to get my Medusa to two star because if you notice, she's only stoning people, uh, within four, uh, four tiles of her, four grids, whatever you want to call it. So if I get her to two star, she can basically alt anybody on the board. <clears throat> so we're crushing people. That's good. Um, Poison Worm, I don't really care about going up. Right now, we're just re-rolling for upgrades. Yep. Um, level 9, I could like him for sure. Boom, 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 boom. Nice. Oh, no, no, no. Definitely not. Um, yep, basically just troll trolling for upgrades. Actually, in this comp, I'm not going to use him because... I have to have everything here except Medusa. Medusa is optional, but I'm not going to choose a Wind Ranger over Medusa. And when I get to level nine, I want to put in a Storm Shaman, and I'll choose a. And, and notice two star. You see how she she hit the entire entire team, even in the far back left corner. So that's as far away as they could be from my Medusa, and they still got uh, ulted. So that's actually exactly what I was talking about to get her to two star matters so much. That increased range. Get another ward out. Nice. These wards. These wards get another one. Nice. Clutching it. The wards clutching it. Okay, three wards versus one Heaven Bomber. I'm pretty sure the wards win. So, yep. Nice. Uh, oh, nice. Oh, I can't use it. So, if you go Warlock, you can't use Blight Sorcerer. Um, if you only go for the Mage variation, you can use it. So, keep, keep that in mind. Okay, Dragon, I do want... Um, I'll just grab it for right now. Source, I need it. Dude. Nope. Uh, nope. And one more, because I'm gonna... If we lose, I sell the, uh, worm. So those are one away from upgrade. And... Unfortunately, I mean, we're doing well, but we're, we're doing it with only one stars. So, um, that's less, less than optimal, but we're still doing it just because of synergies. So our synergies are really, really strong. Level 26 is when people may be going to level 9, so I need to have that in the back of my mind. And see, do you see how, how quick and how many times my Medusa is alting, right? That's two alts in that <laughs> that fight. That was 20, like 24 seconds. So entire, entire fight, 27 seconds. She alted twice. And yeah, so Medusa with double regen is very, 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 very nice. Okay, good bunch of pairs three pairs now oh nice that's we talked about going in at nine same thing roll down nope still one more roll because i can just sell the worm which i am gonna do oh my gosh okay well then and i oh i still even need him <coughs> so this is we're having really 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 bad rng but we kind of got I lucky to get stuff early like we got a soul reaper and we got the the war got a war two star early so it's funny because we had really good rng early game and now it's just going terribly and there goes our win streak not not surprising i mean we're still at one stars like the majority of my team is one stars which is not a good thing um i have to reroll here because i have so many things i need to upgrade and if I try to spend money to go to level 9, it just doesn't make sense. Being level 9 in, with a bunch of 1 stars is just not optimal. So there we go. 1 upgrade. Oh no, you're already upgraded. I don't need another upgrade on you. Can't use that because of Thunder Spirit. Yes, thank you, thank you. But see, that's just a more... And I'm going to be aggressive. This is where my health is getting lower, and I am going to be a little more aggressive. Yeah. Boom, boom. Yay! Okay, there we go. Double upgrades. Nice. Okay, so those two things. And that is going to be on him, and he is going to be what I put in at level 9. If I get a... If I get a God of Thunder, it switches with my Shining Dragon. 
So that is the formula. And then this is basically the comp I roll with if I go if I go Warlock Mages. I do Divinity Mages. Um, I think I've done Divinity Warlock, but I find Divinity Mages with no Warlock is good. I still win a lot of games with it. Um, but Warlock without Mages is eh. Uh, I think I can be patient now. Eh. The problem is, if you saw, I'm sharing Soul Reaper with a team down here. But he already has a 2-star, so I don't really think he's going to try to hold on to uh, Soul Reapers. And I do... At this point now, I'm kind of more... I want to level because Thunder Spirit I need, but um, I also need Epics. So that's why I'm kind of thinking of leveling. Unfortunately, I also lower my odds, odds of getting my God of War. Mm, eh. Nobody's going to 9, so I think I'll keep rerolling. But let's check, because they might be slow. Yeah, so that person's going to go to 9 with economy. Two people are going to 9 for sure. <clears throat> and they're going to hit 9 in about two, two levels. Two rounds. Uh... Nope. Unfortunate. So we're middle pack. People in this game are being really passive. The fact that we're getting to round 30 and nobody's even died is, I would say, that classifies this as a very passive game. Uh, Rerolling is... Yeah, so okay, one hit, level 9. And the second one's going to be hitting 9 pretty quickly here. Now I got to be worried about losing too much health. And the thing is, a main damage source in Divinity Mages is Thunder Spirit and Storm Shaman. Storm Shaman, I don't even have the board. And my Thunder Spirit is only 1 star. That's what's really hurting me right here. <clears throat> I think I'm going to roll kind of aggressively. KG3, that's 3rd place though. But see, we got smashed by 1st place. And that's not acceptable because you can lose games very, very quickly. Nope. There we go. Okay, there we go. Now I'm more confident to go up. Um, next round, I need 25, so, or wait, sorry, 24, 20, so 25 gold. So yeah, we'll say we're not gonna roll past that. And then at level nine, I have a better opportunity to get my epics and then I can get them in the board, so I'm gonna do that. Um, so who we're fighting fourth place, third place we beat from there last time. Yep, we're crushing them, so that's good. They're going to be dying off. Um, hopefully why I wanted to really, really reroll, and I was willing to reroll down like a lot to get my thunder, my god of thunder, or sorry, thunder spirit. There we go. <clears throat> okay, so we barely lose to that person, and yeah, okay, things are closing out, so th this this is good. Nice. And, okay, this is a human round. And then we have a minion round. And let's see. How many nines? There's two level nines. I did just lose. And health pools are getting low. I think I do level here. I don't think the economy is necessarily worth it. And here, that's a four attack range, so I can put him back in. So the one problem with this build is most of the units are three attack range. So the only one that's not is Storm Shaman and Medusa, but Medusa you don't want in a back corner because you, wanna, you want her to hit everything with her ultimate. So really the only things you can put in the back row are the Source and Storm Shaman. So uh, just keep that in mind when you run this comp. You don't want to put Thunder Spirit, you don't want to put your Poison Worm in the far back row because if you do, they can get trapped and they won't shoot. Like for instance, notice the Source never moved and Storm Shaman never moved. So say the Worm and the Source traded places, the Worm wouldn't shoot anything because it's all outside the Worm's attack range. Okay. <clears throat> so now we can roll... Uh... Eh. Okay, we'll stay, I think, around 30. Let's see what other people are. So... 50, a 40. Yeah, so 30 seems about right to stay. Let's make sure neither of these people are trying to go for 10. Honestly, actually, I probably don't really care even. If I can get my Thunder Spirit and my Soul Reaper up, then my 
them having extra units doesn't really help them against my AoE, so. <clears throat> uh, wait, no. Here's the person with 40 gold, so they're definitely not going towards 9. Or, sorry, going towards 10. See, this person might be going towards 10. The fact that they already pumped one in. So what they might be doing is they might be um, buying experience plus rerolling every round. So let's check. I'll watch that real quick. So they're at 10. Yep, see? They're buying. So they, yeah, so that person's going to try to go to level 10. Uh, Thunder Spirits. Eh, no. I just, I just want to level things. I don't need those. Nice. Perfect. Okay, so if he keeps doing what he's doing, he will level in... He needs 22, so he'll level in three rounds, so at round 34. Um, hopefully we can fight him, because I would like to do damage to his health pool before... Because here's the problem for him. If you're re-rolling all that gold, then you're not upgrading your comp. Like for me, I'm re-rolling, I'm upgrading every round we've got an upgrade. So, um, he's gonna start getting beat up on. So, like, this is the person who beat me, and now look, I just crushed him. So, uh, that's what I mean. And, like, these people are just gonna start losing. If you're, if you're in the teens, like, 15, 12, 10, 6, like, these people are all one round away from losing. Um, so that is definitely danger zone for them. <clears throat> okay, he goes, he's gonna go to 10, we know that. If I can hit my Storm Shaman, nice. We'll just keep our strategy up. Okay. So one away and one away. If we could get like an egg, that would also be nice. Magic on the fastest attack speed. Armor, why not put it on my Medusa? And... And also I should position for him. So he's left, so he's going to be on my right. Human is in the third space. So third space from the right is human, so I want to make sure I don't put like my Medusa or anything in that range because if they get silenced by the Argali Knight, I will be very unhappy. <clears throat> Ooh, that was a really good uh, Thunder Spirit alt, or uh, Flame Wizard alt for that person in the silence. Okay, so that's annoying. So we have two losses, but everybody except first place only has one loss left, basically. And, yep, anyways, let's keep going. Ugh. Oh my gosh, the game keeps trolling me. I kept thinking that's the um, uh, God of Thunder. God of Thunder will just take this comp to another sick level. Let's watch gold. So yeah, he went to 10. He's going to stay around 30. The 9s. Another person went to 10 who is the mage I just fought. So maybe I should go. Right now it would cost me 40 gold. So I could go to 10 in... But, uh, do I want to? If I go to 10, my chance of getting my Thunder, my God of War goes down even more. My, I do have a higher chance of getting my uh, Storm Shaman, which is nice. And then my God of Thunder, which would be nice. But, mm, yeah, I think we have to, because we're getting so... We, we're, we're losing too much. So it's either roll down... Roll down to try to get two upgrades, or go to 10... Uh, rough choices, rough choices. 40. No, I don't even have enough. No, I'm gonna roll down. Nope, nope, nope. And this is basically YOLOing. There we go, that will help a lot. And keep YOLOing. Wow. Oh, oh! Okay, and I don't have time, but I'm locking that, obviously. And then I'll switch out the Baby Dragon for the God of Thunder. So that will be nice. And just the three-star God of War, though, makes a huge difference. Because the more he soaks damage, the more my team ha my spellcasters have time to just ult and everything nonstop. So uh, that's good. Ooh, get it off! Oh, nice, she freezes. Oh my gosh, my God of Thunder. Oh, this targeting. Am I? No, I'm not dead. Okay, good. We're barely alive. <clears throat> okay, there we go. And now let's go to my good old, old faithful, as I call it. Um, <clears throat> so I could do that. Soul Reapers. I'm going to move that up tank. I'm actually tempted. 
No, I think I am going to do this. I know this is Black Dragon. This doesn't matter. With a, with a God of Thunder, this is easy. Easy clap. <coughs> and... Um, let's see. Human Mage is the scariest person, actually, because of the silence. Um... No, let's just see if I can... Oh my god. Give me another one, please. God of Thunder... Or not, sorry, my Storm Shaman. Um... No. Yeah, I don't want to put that on anything, I don't think. <laughs> I could put it on my Storm Shaman, but he's only one star, so he's gonna die. Like, guaranteed. Uh, before he gets anything off. And unfortunate Medusa ult, hurry. Nice, Medusa gets her ult off. Okay, nice. Now we get the chain react. Oh no! God, ugh. The Devastator's bomb killed my God of Thunder before he got his ult off, so that's unfortunate. Okay, but we do pull that out. That's first place, so that's good. The Mage is still alive, though. <clears throat> and... Yes. And this is going to look crazy, but I am doing it. And now we do this. Actually, put it back here. And this, decline. And this person we beat, it goes into the front line. This is just to get my silence off first. So the, the dagger makes me regen mana quicker. So getting it in, and then he takes aggro. He all, no, are you? Oh my gosh, what is that targeting? I think we're still okay, but oh my gosh. That, that uh, decision making on who to ultimate is painful. Nice. Um, yeah, so caster teams, it all comes down to that. And see, like 18 to nothing. So, I mean, when you're fighting mages, that's nothing. Um, if I could go to 10, I'd put Devastator, but I don't want to take anything out. And this person we beat last time. Um, they're going their left side, so it's going to be my right. So they're trying to switch right in front of me, which is fine by me, actually. I'm actually going to warp behind him right here. This should warp me right behind his Tortola Elder and everything. Oh, no, but he's going to get silenced. <clears throat> nope, never mind. Come over here. I don't want him to get silenced by the human, so I'm going to put him on the other side. Yep, with the Thunder Spirit. See? There we go. Nice. Alt ultimate. Okay. He is really bad at ulting the main group, but that's okay. So, whew. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense why I did that. So if I would have put him behind the source and the Tortola Elder, he would have got silenced by them because they're human. Or he would have had a high chance of getting silenced. So by putting him behind the Thunder Spirit and the um, Fallen Witcher, then neither of them can silence him and then he's going to get his ult off. And I'm not going to show him what I did, so let's tuck that back in there. <coughs> um, I don't really have upgrades, so we're just going to focus on positioning. So once again, it looks like he's going to let me do the same thing again. Oh, he's going to try to get the knight. Mm, okay. So what, I'm aiming middle? Nope, I'm aiming back right. There we go. Yep, he moved his humans away, so I'm going to teleport onto Venom. Venom targets me. Nice, perfect. And now and now he just clumped his group, too, so my sh ult should hit. Oh my gosh, I just keep hitting the Venom. Never mind, I give up. <coughs> but it's okay, we still win it. Um, I'm really... Like, is I guess Storm Shaman's targeting is nearest. I haven't really used him with Warp Dagger, but normally he he targets the main group. But normally I put him in the front, so maybe that's why. So anyways, we won by one health, so victory! Nice. We are starting off the new season well. A little Divinity Warlock Mage. How many points do we get? Oh my gosh. Oh, Bishop. So beautiful. So beautiful. I don't even know the last time I saw the plus 34. Oh my gosh. Okay, cool. So, um, anyways, that's today's video. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I'm going to show the end screens. Um, and there we go. Class synergies. And last note, um, I know yesterday's video had some issues. Um, I do want to apologize to everybody for that. Uh, it was the first time that I tried to uh, take a video straight from Twitch and load it to my YouTube. Like, they, they have some sort of Twitch YouTube integration. And I tested that that out, and it just makes the video super laggy and not good quality. Um, so I do apologize for that. But 
you know, same time, me as a content creator is the same as me playing the game. Like I need to experiment. I need to kind of take risks and try new things because if I don't, then my content will never get better. And I really want to make my content as good as I possibly can for all of you. Um, so anyways, I appreciate you all and bear me with me when I do experiments. And I really appreciate those of you who, when I experiment, you let me know like, hey, Chaos, that was a really good, like, I, I like that change. I like that. Or even I don't like that, right? I don't like that helps me too. Or some people even recommend like, hey, can you do a guide like this? Or hey, could you try this style? And that I appreciate too, right? They're all things that I can experiment with. But anyways, I hope you all have an outstanding day and I will see you all tomorrow.